What is up guys, I'm Julius and today I'll be teaching you how to create a simple timer in Premiere Pro. Let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I will create a new color mat for the background we will be working with. Let's maybe work on something light blue, I like that. This will just be the background. Let's make this 10 seconds long. So next up, I'm going to go over here again and create a new transparent video and just drag this on top of our color map. Now we have to create the timer. That's the first step. I'm going to search for an effect called time code, this one on the video and just apply it to the transparent video. Now we have this time code here. That is beautiful. In here, I want to change the time code source to clip and the time display to whatever frame rate our sequence is. In my case, this is a 30 drop frame rate. As you can see, the timer matches up perfectly with the place in our sequence now. This had been a 60 drop frame rate. This one only show three here, but let's keep it for 30 for now. All right, next up, I want to change the opacity just to remove like this black background here because we don't need that. Now I want to remove this little blob thing here. I'm just going to click off field simple. All right. This also counts, I guess, hours and frames, right? We want to remove that. Just going to search for an effect called crop and apply that to our transparent video. Click on our crop here and just drag it in here. So from the left until we cut off the hours, something like that. And from the right until we cut off the seconds. That's beautiful. As you can see, we have this timer counting up. It just keeps on counting. But I was thinking that we would make a timer from five seconds down to zero. So let's do that. First and foremost, I think I want to have our timer centered. So I will just change the position of the time code to 540 here. That's centered now. Let's then maybe change the uh, mm, scale to something like 200. I think that's fine. And now let's make a countdown. What we do is we right click, then we nest it. And right click the nested sequence, speed duration, reverse speed. Now it will count down from nine. But we want it to count down from five. So when it switches to five somewhere around here, it actually switches to five and then whatever frame rate it is all the way down to five. But this will work fine if we just cut it here. So it starts at five. And then once it goes to zero, somewhere around here, that is exactly five seconds, as you can see. I'm just going to cut it here because if we want to keep this, make the timer stay at zero for a longer time than this, we cannot drag this out because we do not have more to give from here in our nested sequence. So what I like to do is just a super quick fix. Because there's no movement or anything, we can just crank up the speed to something insane like 10% and just cut it off. It's like a little quick hack. Right, let's add some flavor to this to this, uh, to this, this timer. So I'm going to select my lips tool down here. If you can't see your lips tool and it's a rectangle tool, just hold down in your left mouse button until you're able to select the ellipse tool. Now I'm going to draw an ellipse. I'm drawing a perfect ellipse by holding down shift and alt like so. I'm going to center it. Let's make it 10 wide. Make sure that you use it on the stroke. I think I want to use a somewhat light-ish, almost white-ish gray here. And I want to make a animation which kind of matches it. So oh, this is actually ugly. Let's maybe just keep it at white. I think that would look better. Yeah. So I'm going to drag our graphics layer on top. So we have the same one. And on this graphics layer, I'm going to go into shape. I'm going to change the stroke maybe to 25. But this one, I think it could be fun if we made it another color. Something. Maybe pink. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. Now we have these two on top of each other. And I want to animate this big one to load up. So I'm going to search for an effect called radial wipe. And it is actually under obsolete, and that is because if you should do something like that, you should probably do it in After Effects. But I honestly like working in Premiere, so and it still works. So apply this to the top layer, like so. And basically, what this effect does, it like a, does a radial wipe. 
it may be easier to see what it does if I, for example, put it on our column head quickly, then it's easier to see what it does, but it basically just does like a clock transition, right? But basically what we want to do is on our circle layer, I want it to be completely to 100. And once our timer reaches zero, I want it to be go to zero, something like that. But maybe let's have it go the other way around. So let's change the Y from clockwise to counterclockwise. That's nice. Let's maybe just give it the slightest bit of feather, something like that. But uh, we're done with the effect. Check it out, guys. So this effect is already pretty nice, I think, but I want to give it a little bit more flavor. I want to make something happen once the timer ends, because this part here is a little bit dull. So what I'm going to do is I will make it blink everything, including the circle and the text. So, and how I'm going to do that, I will show you now. So I'm going to select both of my graphics and my nested sequences and nest it again. Then I am going to go to where our timer stops here at five seconds. And I'm going to cut our new nested sequence. Then I'm going to search for an effect called strobe light. This one here under stylize. And what this one does is it will blink in whatever color you choose or iteration and a period that you choose. But if you change this one stroke to make layers transparent, so when, then th that basically means that whenever it blinks, it will just be invisible. That is kind of what I was looking for. So now it looks like this. It's kind of like an alarm clock, right? And you can maybe make it make bl blank blink faster. You want it to have blink twice as fast, something like this. Yeah, that looks nice. Let's leave it at that. Take a look again. And as I said, this is just a quick fix if you need a timer in Premiere Pro. If you have more time and need a better finished product, I suggest doing it in After Effects. But yeah, it's nice to know these hacks sometimes. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you would take just two seconds to like the video and maybe even consider subscribing if I helped you. And also, I read all comments, so if you have any tutorials you would like to see in the future, Feel free to leave them down below. But anyways, take care guys. Bye bye.